Na tume maadili na kupambana na ofisadi ESCC pamoja na kamati ya haki na masuala ya kisheria katika bunge la kitaifa imeanza uchunguzi wa kongamua jinsi deni la Kenya lilivyofika trilioni 11.1 na kama anavyoarifu mwanahabari wetu Brian Mushiri kulingana na mwenyekiti wa ESCC Kasisi David Oginde tume hiyo itachunguza miradi ya serikali inayoendelea na haya ya hapo awali Deni la umma ni mada ambayo imeibua mjada la sihaba nchini. Swala ambalo ESCC pamoja na kamati ya haki na masuala ya kisheria katika bunge la kitaifa itaangazia. Deni la serikali ya Kenya Kwanza ni ya trilioni 2.4 tangu Kenya Kwanza kuchukua hatamu za uongozi na miradi ambayo inaendelea kutokana na fedha hizo itachunguzwa. Actually we have been investigating all kinds of allegations of corruption within government whether they were part of the debt that was uh, taken by by government over the years or in any other way the debt which we agree has gone up um ESCC must be investigating and this is one question we have posed to them are they currently investigating how public funds may have been used uh, from public debt haya alijiri huku kamati ya haki na masuala ya kisheria katika bunge la kitaifa ikiahidi kunyoosha mkono wa msaada kwa ESCC kulingana na mwenyekiti wa ESCC askofu David Oginde tume hiyo ilikuwa ikichunguza miradi ya zamani na ya sasa huku nchini kuhusu jinsi pesa hizo zilivyotumika zaidi mjadala wa kama ni mwafaka ESCC kupata mamlaka ya uendeshaji wa mashtaka yake pia uliingiliwa you may think that uh, getting prosecutorial power is a solution to ESCC but there are other consequences that come with prosecutorial power there are political implications there are, and, and those are issues that need to be addressed some countries have you can see some countries that the entities that investigate corruption and they have prosecutorial power we have seen a uh, political abuse brian mushiri ntv